with Grosvenor Casino here in Manchester. Grosvenor, our official sponsor for Saturday night's action and what a night it's set to be. It seems a little bit quieter here than it was in Belfast yesterday. We've had a great three days on the Quig Frampton media tour and uh, what a time for British boxing. This weekend there'll be three Brits involved in world title fights in three different countries and two of those exclusively live on Sky Sports, of course. Anthony Crawler challenging Darlis Perez for the WBA lightweight title, and Martin Murray in Hanover in Germany challenging Arthur Abraham for the WBO super middleweight title. It's a wonderful night of boxing starting from 8 p.m. And as always, I'm delighted to welcome uh, the head of boxing for our exclusive broadcast partner, Sky Sports. And uh, it gives me great pleasure to welcome back one of our friends, um, Alex Campanova, and uh, Manager for Dalis Perez, and welcome back. And uh, your thoughts on Saturday night? Thank you, Eddie. Uh, thank you for having us back so quickly. Um, obviously, uh, we know what happened uh, in the last fight, um, but this time around, Darle has prepared not to, not to leave any doubts inside the ring. He's got a great training camp in Colombia um, under the watchful eye of Orlando Pineda. He is at this point the only Colombian world champion. Um, and he's more than ready to take on Anthony McGraw. Obviously there was controversy around the first fight, the scoring, also you guys felt there was a, particularly the last point that was deducted wasn't, wasn't quite fair. But it, kind of like the last fight doesn't matter, it's a clean slate now, and, and these guys have got to go and do it again. Absolutely, I think the styles for both guys are um, matched perfectly. Should be an exciting event again. And, you know, we're not going to talk about what happened last time. Joe? Obviously, uh, we know how close you are with Anthony Crawler and, and what it would mean to you. We all felt that, that we should have been crowned and Anthony should have been crowned world champion last time around. But that doesn't matter anymore, does it? It's all about Saturday night. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, big welcome to Dallas Perez and his team and his trainer. Good to see you all again. Um, yeah, Saturday night, it's a, it's a huge opportunity for Anthony Crawler. I know they've just mentioned that Perez is Colombia's only world champion. But there's a lot of talk yesterday in Belfast about that being a great fight sitter. Manchester's a great fight sitter. Anthony's got a great opportunity to become the third world champion out of this Saturday, Saturday night. And he's got to go in there and take it with both hands. These opportunities in life don't present themselves that often. And to get a second bite at the cherry, he's got to take it with both hands. It's now or never for Anthony Crawler. Training's gone fantastic. Um, we've studied the first fight. And we hurt Perez last time, and we will hurt him again Saturday night, and this time we'll finish the job. Very much in the way you've seen Scott Quigg did with Kiko Martinez, also Callum Smith with Rocky Fielding. Anthony, there's no nice guy, no, no nice guy in there Saturday night. You're going to see a ruthless streak from Anthony Crawler, and we'll be looking for the knockout. Um, and that's what I'm expecting Saturday night, and to give this great sitter another world champion. And uh, I have 100 percent faith in Anthony Crawler becoming world champion, and um, oh. what a fantastic achievement! Okay, there we go again. Ronnie Pickering come from Belfast. He's come from Colombia here now today again. Crawler is the one that's fighting. Let him do the talking. So you always tend to do this everywhere we go. Every city. <laughs> well. Uh, to just let you know, I'm booked in at the Opera House for the Christmas pantomime this year as the baddie there, so uh, <laughs> that's, in, that's how it goes. Darlis, yeah. um, obviously there's been a lot of talk about this the first fight, and tell us how you're feeling. Good afternoon to everybody, I'm very happy to be in here again in Manchester. What happened happened, this is a brand new fight. Estoy tranquilo, vengo bien a 100%. Eh, Crawler es un buen peleador. Crawler es un gran peleador. Mi preparación fue realmente, realmente buena. Y el día sábado tengo lo seguro que vamos a dar guerra porque vengo preparado sin, sin temor a nada y, 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 y con las ganas de triunfo para, llevar, para, para dejar claridad. Um, I am more than ready to give the fans a war, and I know it's going to be a war on Saturday night. Uh, my preparation has been, has been terrific, but I'm not going to leave any doubt this time. What is the difference between this time and last time, and your prediction on how the fight will go? Son diferentes peleas. Son diferentes peleas. Siempre ya lo que pasó pasó. Estamos en el presente. 
y vamos a resolverlo. It's it's a different fight. It's a totally different fight and uh, we have to resolve this matter Saturday night. Anthony, uh, I don't think there's there's many that won't be cheering you on on Saturday night. Um, I'm sure like many you feel like you should be sitting here as world champion, but that's forgotten the past. And now you have another chance on Saturday night to become champion of the world. Yep, that's it. Um, Saturday night I get a second chance and not everyone's lucky enough to get a second chance, but I plan on taking that, grasping that opportunity with both hands. And, um, Listen, Dali's Perez, his team, I've got massive respect for. He's a great fighter and Dali's just mentioned then he's ready for a war and I see this fight. It was a good fight last time but I see many more exchanges this time and I do see it being a bit of a war and it's a war I'm very confident that I'll come through. And um, like I say, it's like training's gone fantastic, like Joe just said earlier. And um, I feel that like I've made improvements since that first fight. I'm expecting a better Dali's Perez on Saturday night, but I'm also expecting myself to be better and I believe that I've gone away, I've worked hard and those three little tweaks that we've made will be the difference on Saturday night in me becoming world champion. The difference in, in your performance this time, do you feel as well physically, tactically and mentally as well? Last time obviously it was a kind of step into the unknown and now you've been there before. Yeah, we've shared 12 rounds, me and Dali's Perez, 12 tough rounds. Um, so I suppose you could say this is round 13. And we, listen, I think we're well matched. But last time out, I felt like we got it right tactically, or Joe did. And um, I feel like there was times in the fight where I heard Dallas and also that I outboxed him. So I think there's a number of ways I come in the fight. I'm expecting a really tough fight. Like I say, Dallas is a great fighter, but on Saturday, I'm ready to become world champion. The atmosphere at the Manchester Arena on Saturday will be incredible. It was last time. You've experienced that now. Is it a case of almost, you know, did you feel like that got to you last time in a, maybe in a positive way, but this time it's just another process in, in, in the fight? Of course, I feel like lifted me last time. Um, it was a great reception, and that's one of the people going about the disappointment it was, but that was the highlight of my career coming out in front of a crowd like that, in front of that arena. And um, I think Saturday there's going to be a, a similar atmosphere in there. So I've just got to like say, make sure I'm ready. I've done everything I can do. And this time I was very grateful for it. I had a lot of support on the back of the incident that happened last year. And it's a bit more business-like this time, which I prefer. We're talking about the boxing a lot more. And that's been a great thing in camp for me. So mentally I'm even in an even better place than I certainly am physically. Fantastic, that's the WBA lightweight championship of the world. Manchester's Anthony Crawler takes on Dali's Perez. It was a great fight last time. It's going to be a great fight again Saturday. I don't think there's many that's not trying to push Anthony Crawler over the line on Saturday. He's a, he's a great man, a great fighter, and it's a great fight between two very talented lightweights. So thank you for coming. Um, the weigh-in tomorrow will be at 1 p.m. at the Radisson Blue Edwardian Hotel. Um, do tickets, uh, doors will open at 5 p.m. We're going to pose now for head-to-heads with all the fighters and their opponents, and uh, we'll see you at the weigh-in tomorrow. Thank you very much. Dallas to the front. Anthony at the swan. Dallas. Go to the middle, please, guys. Down this way, Dallas. Anthony. Straight down this way. Go to the middle, please. Now, each other, guys, please. Go to the middle. Okay. Good one, Akri. If you haven't already done so, make sure you download the Behind the Gloves app. It's free, and it features really cool stuff like a fight calendar that reminds you of all the upcoming fights, and it allows for you to, with one click, to remind yourself directly to your phone. And it also features 24 seven breaking news that's going on in boxing. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that and subscribe to this channel.